The case of tuberculosis has an entire community on edge. Tonight, Homewood City Schools took the time to ease concerns by educating parents about the disease. WIAT 42 News reporter Jamie Ostroff was at tonight's meeting as parents voiced their concerns. Dozens of parents here tonight with a lot of questions for a tuberculosis expert with the Jefferson County Department of Health. Mixed emotions among Homewood High parents after learning a student at their child's school has tuberculosis. I'm not worried. As a parent, I'm concerned about what kind of fallout is going to happen from this, mostly from how safe is my daughter. Which brought them all here in front of Dr. Edward Kahn with the Jefferson County Department of Health for question. So how many children may have been exposed? Do we have a time period here? After question. What kind of responsibility does the county have? After question. How long is it before they are back in the regular community? For more than an hour. So here is what you need to know. First, once tuberculosis has been identified, transmission is rare. Eighty-five percent of the students at Homewood High were tested for TB on Wednesday. Parents will be notified on Friday if their child tests positive. But that still doesn't mean it's an active case or even a true positive. Second, it is safe to go to school. TB spreads so slowly that, again, the transmission period is more than likely over. In fact, most patients are no longer contagious within days of starting treatment. And yes, tuberculosis is treatable by a months long regimen of antibiotics. It's usually less critical to like rush, rush, rush and do everything to try to test everybody than it is to just stop, think who's at risk, who needs to be tested, what's the best way to do it, and then set up a plan and do it. All right, so if any students do test positive, they are going to be put on a preventative treatment course. That's going to come at no cost to their family. That's all thanks to a publicly funded program. And another point I want to make right now is that every single parent that I spoke with today and this evening has had nothing but good things to say about Homewood City Schools and the way they have handled this situation. We are live in Homewood tonight. Jamie Ostroff, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.